Oh, hello, this is Mireille Sula. I'm the founder of Global Woman and I'm here with the CEO of Inspiration Awards for Women. And um, this year, on the 8th of September, will be a big gala dinner with some amazing, inspirational women from all around the world that are selected from Inspiration Awards for Women. Sky, can you tell us a bit more about this big event? Yeah, so the Inspiration Awards for Women is in its 10th year, so it's our 10th anniversary. So. Um, I started it back in um, 2008 to um, inspire our next generation to focus on the right women and to find inspirational women who are doing good things in society or in business or in sport who are good role models for our next generation. So it's, it's amazing to have got to the 10th event and the 8th of September we'll see women from all walks of life come to celebrate inspirational women. And what is different and special for the 10th of um, celebration? I think that when I first started it, you know, in year one, um, Dame Helen Mirren and Dame Kelly Holmes came and I had a vision to create an, a night that was the Oscars for the normal woman. Um, and that's how it is, you know, it's a night of amazing musical performances, stories of women that have fought against adversity and achieved great things. So, um, if you imagine the, the awards is a little bit like Pride of Britain Awards, um, with a little bit of Oscars, but um, that's what's different about it, is that we acknowledge women that are in the public domain, and women that are not. So everyone comes together for the common goal of ce celebrated inspiration. Well, I have to say it's very inspiring talking with a man that is doing this amazing work um, to bring women together and to give them recognition for and what they have done in life and uh, what motivated you to uh, start this big initiative and to come where you are today? Um, several reasons, um, mainly because of my late mum that um, in inspired me to, to be the person I am and she was my biggest role model and um, so I, I wanted to do something for women from that aspect um, and I went to a, a fun run for women where Women were running together for, for cancer and um, with pictures of their mum and dad or grandma, I miss you, and they're running and working together. And so everything, everything that I've just said to you inspired me to create an event that um, projected positive images of women. Because unfortunately, if a young girl comes out of school and goes into a magazine shop, the women that they see profile the women what they see on the magazines is not indicative of what women are doing. There are many great women out there creating businesses, starting businesses, doctors, scientists, great sporting achievers, philanthropists doing great charity work and our next generation of girls are not seeing that. So I felt it was, impos it was important to project positive images of women to our next generation of girls to see that there is another way rather than wanting to be a celebrity or, or to do start something that they want to do quickly. Take your time, find your career path, some, find something that you want to do and, and follow your dreams. That sounds really amazing. And um, would you be able to discover a few details about women that are nominated or shortlisted so far and what is their background and, and are you happy with the nominations so far? I mean, like, like the, the previous nine years, the list of women we've got shortlisted, the list of women that were nominated, it's just incredible. Some absolutely amazing stories. I know that my team, when they're reading the nominations, you know, some of them are, are brought to tears because the one thing that young girls need to know is that if you suffer adversity, there is always a way to overcome it. And what a lot of our women that have been shortlisted have done is overcome amazing adversity to be successful. Um, and our awards isn't about how successful people are, it's about inspiring other people and young girls to know that in life you've just got to keep going. Amazing. Uh, well, we are here now at the place where the event will be organized. Um, why did you choose this beautiful venue? just in front of the parliament. Yeah, well, I mean, the Queen Elizabeth II um, Centre is 
in a fantastic location opposite obviously Westminster Abbey and they hold a lot of great events here and the location and uh, the on the night the ambience the lighting the sound everything bodes well for a really inspirational night and when I started this event I wanted women to come together to have an evening of celebrating inspiration and to feel that they've had an amazing night um, this venue will help us do that. And the last question, why did you choose Global Woman? Why did you choose us to be partners in this um, inspiring event and gala dinner awards? Well, Marilla, you're an inspirational woman yourself. You won an inspirational award. So, and your story is amazing. And you've done great work in creating this Global Woman magazine, Empire. And so, you and what your magazine does works very well with us in that you are profiling inspirational women as well. Inspirational and aspirational women. So it's a pleasure to work with you. Thank um, you for choosing me. Uh, as you know, we were all enamored with your, with your story and Global Woman and Inspiration Awards is a great partnership and we're going to go forwards and onwards. I think you are guilty on all the work that I've been doing with women because after getting that award from you, I felt very responsible to do something with it, to go out and inspire women. And you have no idea the impact that you are creating to all this tribe of women is huge. And I admire you for the work. And I wish we have more men like you to come and support women's vision and bring more gender equality and inspiration into this world. We so much need it. So uh, on the 8th of September at 6.30 we are going to have an amazing dinner, uh, an event that we will not forget for long. What is the last message? Well, the last message is, is that uh, um, it's going to be an amazing event with women that often are not acknowledged um, and are not recognized and they're going to come to this event and it's going to be their Oscars night. They're going to dress up. They're going to see their pictures everywhere. Red carpet. Red carpet, photography. They're going to be treated like stars. We women love that. Yeah, our are women stars. are treated like stars <laughs> on, on this evening. Yeah. And there's going to be celebrities, high profile people, uh, women from business, all walks of life, um, and all our nominees. And so it really is an inspiration. I often do is in a dry, dry tear in the house. I witnessed that. I have attended your events and I know they are outstanding. And I'm very honored and privileged that me and my team will be part of this amazing opportunity. And we admire for the work you have done. And thank you very much. Thank you. See you on the 8th of September at 6.30 for Inspiration Women's Award.